when we first start the recording here, we're going to jump in. But real quick, I just want to say I spent the last like hour or so adjusting audio and uh, making some changes to uh, some of the, the scenes and whatnot. So I, I made an, an edit here, and I think you guys can see this if I annually toggle this. So anytime someone subscribes, we'll get this alert, which uh, has a little sprite design of my character, Kyoki, like bowing in like appreciation, kind of. And anytime someone raids, it's the same thing, but like with a red background. Nothing too special. I've had that like gif of her bowing for like months, maybe years. Back when I was like, I'm gonna make a an AI and I'm gonna like have her like bow for me and shit like that and like stuff to like acknowledge shocking and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it didn't pan out. Anyway, I did all that. Adjusted sound and all that stuff. And in the tests, it sounded really fucking good. You might notice if uh, you've heard my previous streams and whatnot, just uh, how different it sounds. I think it sounds a little more like crisp. There's not as much background. It sounds a little more you know, loud and like balanced and stuff. I don't know. I can't explain it. It just sounds better to me. Although, man, compared to like this one voicemail I left while I was testing out a phone at work, man, that voicemail sounded so like just deep and sexy and amazing. And then I listened to my recordings and I'm like, man, if only I could capture my voice, how it was in that voicemail. It would have been amazing. But instead, I got this like goofy, silly voice that's happening right now, as opposed to like a, uh, a, a deep and sensual and like, hey, baby, let me rub your back kind of kind of voice, you know, weird stuff. Right. But I don't know if like it's the microphone that I used to record the, the voicemail at work or if it's like some weird voodoo magic that's done with uh, the calling tree system stuff at work or whatnot that made me sound so amazing, but goddamn. Anyway, here we are at Minecraft. I, I know it's not goofy, Pip. Like, plenty of people like my voice. It's just, to me, it sounds a little goofy, and I prefer it to be more, like, masculine, like, bronze godliness stuff, kind of like that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, how is the audio right now, Pip? Is it, like... Nice and crisp? Is it all right? Is it better than it was before is essentially what I'm asking. Because I did spend like an hour trying to adjust the, the stuff to make it better. Like I feel like right now there should be less like background noise, like fans whirring around and like staticky build up stuff that's happening, right? Okay, perfect. That's all I needed to know. Thank you, Pip. Thank you. Ah, so... I was trying to like adjust some stuff and I was like, you know what? I, I listened to one of the recordings and I was like, shit, this isn't good. I don't like this. Uh, and I was like, I, I want to get my voice like better. Right. So tweak some settings. Basically what I did is I added a, uh, I go into my settings here. I added a compressor, a noise gate and noise suppressor, which uh, all kind of working together. It, it takes away the background noise kind of boosts the volume of my, my voice up a little bit better and whatnot. And then it took a little while and kind of did the same thing for like the in-game audio and whatnot, which we'll kind of get to. So I should, at least when I tested it, my, my volume should be pretty like level. Like I'm just a little bit louder, but I can still be made out over the sound of like, for example, me just like spamming this door open, right? Nice and good, right? So, like, you should be able to, to properly hear me as I'm opening and closing this door, right? There's no, like, miscommunication there. But, uh, at least I thought it did. It might not be. If someone wants to correct me on that, if it's not, that'd be great. Uh, let's grab some iron here. And we'll make some stuff real quick. I'm gonna make a couple of pickaxes. And we're going to store away a lot of the uh, materials and stuff that we have here. Store all this stuff. I'm going to keep the bucket. Store all those. Store all those. 
Yeah, I, I've had a mic have this microphone for a while, Pip. This is the same one I've been using for years. Um, however, I never really took the time to adjust it like properly to where I'd be like good. I've tried to a couple of times. I've tried doing sound suppressors and or not sound suppressors. I've tried doing like noise gates on my microphone for like recordings and stuff. And the videos that I put out. People were commenting like, oh, you're cutting in and out all the time. So that kind of like turned me off to uh, adjusting settings on the microphone because I was like, I, I don't want to make it not hearable kind of stuff. But anyway, so since last time, like I said, I was going to terraform some of the village here. I'm going to show you that and we're going to make a mine and start strip mining stuff and uh, having a good time there. So anyway, I built a, another house here. It looks different than the, the normal houses around there just so I can... Uh, Get more people in and whatnot. And whatnot. So, a bed in there. I added uh, basically just some normal doors around here. Because uh, I think the way the villager responding or spawning works is uh, the more doors you have, the more villagers can be spawned in with an area. So, once I decided to start breeding villagers, I should be able to get more there. I moved the bell over here. I think we did that last video. Anyway. I got a nice path going from here to here. And then, oh, I can make that a path now. I got some stairs going up here to this area. A nice little pathway going over here to the, uh, the scholar. Got a nice little path all the way around here. Basically, I made a path that connects everything that looks kind of good. All right. Got my nice little uh, overlook of the, the area out there with the, the floating roofs, you know. Got uh, this house over here for the farmer. Got the uh, the crop fields here, which the farmer has already ruined the separation between the potatoes and the wheat fields here. And apparently he's been jumping on the crops as well, uh, trampling them uh, around these areas. So good job, farmer. I don't know where he went, but good job. And then uh, just kind of made some landscaping over here, made it nice and like even and flat looking. And if you remember previously, there was like a huge landmass right here, uh, which I took down to the, the same level so I can add more housing here for uh, the various villagers and that kind of stuff. And my shovel broke. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much all I did uh, off stream. I didn't really go anywhere else or, or do anything. But yeah, Pip, for your, your videos, um, like your, your recordings and whatnot, uh, basically, what I did is I, I, I'm using a Twitch Studio Painter right now, and basically I just looked up a video guide on like how to improve your audio quality and stuff like that, and it seemed to really do wonders. So, if you haven't looked up a guide on how to like make your video nice or your audio nice and crisp, like it really helps. Like, yeah, the compressor and the like uh, noise gate and stuff like that really kind of help. Just so you don't have all this background noise like fans or AC and that kind of stuff happening. Anyway, I need to build a mine. I think the best place for it would be like right here, maybe. That'd probably be the good, the good spot. We can uh, start going in right here. Use Audacity? Yeah. I hear there's some things you can do in Audacity to uh, record stuff. Uh, Interestingly, I don't know why I said interestingly, but also I don't know why I'm making a mine like this. How far up are we? We are, yeah, 63. Okay. That uh, Enderman stole a flower. Ah, there you are, farmer. Get back to work. There's crops that need harvesting. Um, I was going to make ladders is what I was going to do. And then we can go just downward and uh, grab a bunch of wood. Okay, so let's just turn all these into sticks. We need around a stack of ladders, fortunately. Oof, okay. Those, and then these here. And that should be all. Okay, perfect. That's, that's more than enough. I made too much, actually. Put all this stuff here. I'm going to keep the cobblestone. I'll keep the clock. I don't need it in my inventory right now, though. Okay. 
Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a uh, way down here. Doing two by two because you never want to mine straight down in Minecraft. That'll just spell your doom. Put a uh, torch right here. Yeah, I don't know too much about recording in Audacity. Um, there might be like third party programs you can get. Actually, I saw one uh, like tutorial video on how to make your recordings on Audacity better by like using this like third party add on thing. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could search for it and uh, just find a, a good way to make you sound better, basically. I'm quite proud of my uh, changes to the microphone at the moment. So much so that I uh, created a sources over here on this platform to record the uh, Quad Equestria series that I'm doing right now. So I can record them over here and have them be better. I hope. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. How far down are we now? We are 33. Okay. I want to get to about 9 or so. 9 is usually where I stop and then I start mining from there. Because I think diamonds spawn from like 6 to 12. That area. I always forget. I just know it's like around the 10 area. So I try to go to 9. That way my feet are on 9. And I'm doing 10 and 11 above me, and then I can look below as well a little bit. Actually, 8 might be the best level to be at, if it's 6 to 12, in that case. I'm actually going to switch out my shield there. Okay, where was the, uh, there it is. I'm going to boop, 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 pop, 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 there we go. <clears throat> Man, I'm still waiting on my uh, my starting soon screen, though. Like, the artist has to be almost done with it. Because it was, like, practically just needing to do, like, the shading and stuff. Uh, and then add, like, the, the final starting soon text to it. Uh, oops. That. So we got to be really close. Where are we at now? We are at, ooh, 11. Okay. That's actually a decent place to stop. Open this area up a little bit, see if we can find any diamonds around lava. Diamonds sometimes like to hide out around lava. And actually, this would be a great place to start another portal. Because we have all the lava and stuff we need right here. We could make one right now if we wanted to. I might just do that. Now that we're going to go into the nether yet, I'd like to get some diamond armor and stuff first, but... For now, I'm just trying to get all the, uh, the area that's not uh, exactly lava heat. All done, okay. Make sure there's no caves or anything surrounding this area. Good, okay. So let's make that, that, okay. Okay. I'm gonna skirt around the lava here real quick. Perfect, all right. Now then. I can make a another portal right here. All right. I'm actually going to do that real quick before uh, we go any further with the strip mining. And then we continue onward from there. We get a little room mined out around it so we can scaffolding and get to it and whatnot. Oh, look, iron. 
Very nice, very nice. Add a torch there. Oh, side note, um, just while we're mining our way at stuff here, on my friend's server, the uh, the seed that we have starts you off in like a, an icy taiga biome, right? And there's no like cows around, right? So I was uh, searching for cows on it last night and attempting to get leather so I could make an enchanting table so I could get uh, an efficiency pickaxe so I can... Uh, not efficiency, a uh, silk touch pickaxe so I can mine ice. Um, I probably journeyed for like a long time. I don't know how long it was, but I I was like, okay, let me just uh, go like a thousand blocks this way and look for cows. And I gotta say, I did not see a single cow like anywhere nearby. I, uh, I found some like 2,000 blocks away from my home. And I was going to be like, okay, I can, you know, I'll just put them in a boat and take them back home, right? Wrong. I, uh, I attempted to do that, but the uh, amount of like land mass I would have to dig through to get the boat properly transported through was just insane. So I... Uh, Turned back, went back home, and I was like, okay, can I find a closer area that I can, you know, maybe find cows at? So I went another thousand blocks one way, nothing. Thousand blocks another way, nothing. And I'm like, okay, my god, what is happening here? And uh, basically, what I had to do, since I couldn't find normal cows anywhere nearby, I had to go to a mushroom biome and just get some mushrooms. Not a problem, Pip. It was just so arduous of a task to do that. Okay, I think I just need three here, right? Three up and then two more, so bop bop. Let me grab the water. Cordon out that area. Boop. Boop. Okay. That. Okay, so I can put that there and there, here, and put that one here, just for right now, so I can sort of water there. Grab that lava. No, I, I did that wrong. Shit. Okay. Uh, put that there. That there. That there. Water. Boop. Ba -ba -da. Okay. Now grab the lava. Find out that one. Put that there, put that there, grab the water, put that there, put that, put that there, grab the water, put that there, and we're done. Alright, another portal is made. I can just remove all the scaffolding and go from there. Okay. I can kind of just water over all this nonsense. Da, 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 da. All right, anyway, the plan for today, if I did not mention it, I know I mentioned it on, uh, I think, Twitter. Uh, we're going to be strip mining for diamonds so we can get diamonds to uh, start getting geared up, getting a, a good pickaxe, getting a good... Uh, set of armor and whatnot. Basically, our, our goal here is to do that. Oh my god. Thank god that's not actually like... Thank god there wasn't lava there, because I would have just fallen into it. God, I'm smart. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to put a hole here with some water. I'm going to put some ladders over here. Basically, the water's for us to fall into. 
and uh, then we're gonna add some more torches to here and here and here, just so we don't come down here and we end up running into anything that wants to kill us. You know what I'm saying? There. I'm gonna use a couple of ladders to go back further up, so I can combine those stacks. Okay. We'll have ladders to get out for now until we can get soul sand and kelp to make an elevator to uh, more efficiently get in and out. We will go from there. Okay. I'm going to take that water just for our uh, strip mining efforts for now. All right, so we're currently at 11, so I need to go a few more down. So we'll go here. We're at 10. This is nine. And that should be eight. Okay, we'll start down there. Meanwhile, I'll harvest a couple of redstone while we're at it. That. Okay. Now we're at eight. So, we'll just head this direction first. And find more lava, of course. Why wouldn't we? Just open that area up a little bit. I think it's just still the same lava we found before. Uh, let's go over it with the water. Go. Okay. So let's uh, let's go this way then. Hopefully not run into lava. I said hopefully not run into lava, damn it. We'll go straight ahead. So basically we'll go until we're out of Basically, we'll go until we're out of a uh, pickaxe, or until we're out of torches, whichever comes first. So I find a, a good way to do a strip mine is to mine five, five blocks, then mine like five blocks on either side to get like a window. See if there's any diamonds down that way. So basically, we just do this over and over. Now we'll go this side. Now I'll put a block there before I die. <clears throat> okay. Nothing that way then. And we just continue. Didn't quite get five there. There we go. Put a torch. Make a window. Nothing. Stone there. Go. Damn lava. Come on. Okay, fine. We'll do that. Is that gonna open up lava? It is. is this gonna open up lava. It is, but not where I thought it was. Okay. But we'll just ignore that. And you want. I think I picked a bad place to start my strip mine. A lot of lava down here. I just hear a spider. Yep. Question is from which direction though? iron so we can make more pickaxes. Not that we need more iron though. I suppose we're pretty full on it. More lava. Yo, come on. Um this is when we switch direction. Alright, that just went out of mine. Okay. Down that way. Some dirt. And so I've gotten really lucky and really unlucky with this mining method. Five. 
It looks like we're going to get unlucky because my pickaxe is about to break. But we can actually make a little uh, way station down here, which is what we'll do. Okay. Well, I can't make a way station because I don't have wood for a crafting table. Never mind. Back up we go to get another pickaxe. And it's back down we go. Actually, hold up. Probably want to put the water down here so I can just jump down rather than taking the ladder. There we go. Okay. Oop. Pop. There, and let's go build another pickaxe and drop some more water. Farmer, go do your job. Let's throw those ladders there. Put this stuff away. Alright. First of all, get me four planks for a crafting bench. Toss that iron in there. There. Two, four. I'll grab that make all this into iron pickaxes, so we'll make six pickaxes. There we go, that should be enough for a while, right? We got a nice amount of iron, here we go. Uh, that should bring some more wood down. All right. I didn't mean to make three chests, but that works, I guess. Okay. So now we have a chest. We can put down there. We got a uh, crafting table. We got some coal and some extra wood for torches. Perfect. All right. Back to the mine. All right. Down we go. Whee! Splash. And we'll just make the, the crafting bench right there. Chests right here. Throw that stuff over there. Okay, perfect. Now if we ever run out of pickaxes and stuff, we can just come back, make some stuff, and return. Okay. Come on, diamonds. Nothing. Hate to see it. So what we'll want to do, I think, is I'll get a crafting table, but we'll need to get a diamond pickaxe, and then some extra diamonds to actually uh, make the pickaxe and the enchantment table. So we're looking at uh, five diamonds that we need minimum. There's iron over here. I'm going to grab it. Once we have five diamonds, we can uh, get our enchantment table. Then I think we might just uh, go make our zombie grinder for experience. And then we can attempt to... some good enchantments and stuff on our pickaxe for like efficiency and fortune and we can try to find more diamonds to get armor and that kind of stuff a lot of dirt down here I don't like it gravel huh I'm going to have to put a torch over here quick. Okay. Wow, no diamonds yet, huh? Well, we'll find them. Eventually.
Beep. Still nothing, my god. Oh, something else will have a bunch of cobblestone. We can use to uh, make our zombie grinder when we eventually get diamonds. And we can also get rotten flesh from the zombie grinder to uh, trade for emeralds. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's iron. Yep. Don't really need iron right now. We got plenty. Man, I am just not finding diamonds right now. What a shame. Redstone, which also not very effective to uh, mine redstone if you're uh, just going to get a fortune pickaxe anyway eventually, right? I haven't found any gold either, surprisingly. Why'd I do that? There's gold. We gotta go down this way now. Just to kind of get the stuff that we dropped here. <clears throat> Next pickaxe. Alright. I'll just mine this iron while we're here. Taste them diamonds. They're nearby. Come on. All right. I'm going to guess two more loops and we're going to find diamonds. A loop being basically this right here. So here's one. No diamonds. Here comes two. Diamonds should be somewhere around this area. Not there. There, they gotta be in front of us, right? Not there, shit. Welp, that is unfortunate. Man, this is gonna be a long. There we go. There's some diamonds. Hell yeah. One, two, three. Four. Damn, can we get a fifth? Come on. Another one just hiding behind a block. Sometimes diamonds like to do that. Man, we just need one more and we can get a crafting table and a pickaxe. Damn. Nothing. Okay. Well, let's place a torch there and uh, continue on for the search of one more diamond. Hopefully not just one. Hopefully we get, like, a another amount as well. But, you know. So I think there's only, like, one diamond vein in each chunk, right? That's how it goes. At least we need to get to the next chunk before any diamonds actually do show up. So my luck with diamonds has been I find one vein and then like very shortly after I find a second. So we shouldn't have to go too far before I find another vein of diamonds. 
should be right behind this block. Nah, that'd be too convenient, wouldn't it? Oh, there they are. Told you. And right there they are too. Nope. All right. Go. Question is, I got my five diamonds so I can get an enchantment table. Do I want to harvest these and basically waste any fortune diamonds or any fortune I can get from these? Or just leave them here for right now and then come back when I have a fortune pick and loot them. I say we leave them here for now and I just come back later once we get fortune on a pickaxe. Okay. Next order of business, we need to get cows. Once we have cows, we can get an enchantment table, and we can get bookshelves, and all that jazz. Okay. But first, before we go up any further, I am going to make six store in a couple of our extra pickaxes. We'll make one diamond pickaxe. Okay. And then we'll mine four obsidian to get ourselves enough for an enchantment table. One. Three. And here's a fourth. Four. Perfect. Yeah. Go. And there we go. Okay. I'll just uh, make an infinite water source down here too while we're at it, huh? Just in case. Okay. Now we have obsidian and diamond to make ourselves a lovely little uh, enchantment table. Now we just need to get leather, unless I have some leather. We might also need to get some paper or sugar cane. Don't think there's any in the town. I might have some in my oven, my chests here. Let's see. First of all, let's get rid of the uh, excess materials here. Those and those. Store that stuff there, store that there. Oh, I already had a diamond. Huh. We could have stopped after the first vein. Okay. Um. So we do have a couple of emeralds. We have six emeralds. And do we what am I looking for again? Completely forgot. Completely blanked on it. Um We were looking for I don't remember. Oh my god, I don't remember. Well, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna make some uh, some more torches. That way, uh, we don't run out with whatever we decide to do. There. Okay. We also need to do more with our storage. It's really kind of just a mess. I don't know what's what. Um. Right, we're looking to see if I have a leather. And I do not, okay. So now, our quest is to find a cow. I'm gonna store this diamond pick over here. All right, let's, let's, let's just rest quick. Let's not uh, go off into the world with uh, 
your willingness to die. I don't have a spare bed. Well, that's fine. Grab that. That into that. That there. Oh, I have some cobwebs over here, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Turn that into three. Well, I can make another bed to take with us on our journey to find a cow. Yoink, yoink. Okay. First of all, Let's just search around here in the local area to see if there's a cow. I'm gonna grab some wheat too, just in case. That way, uh, we can just lure them in. Wheat. Okay. Eat some melon. There was a creeper on the other side of this wall. Right there, yeah, okay. Alright, I know I saw sheep on this island, but were there cows? That is the question. The skeleton over there. There's also some, uh, turtles. We could breed them and get some turtle shell armor. Just the helmet, right? For the turtle shell? I don't think there's, like, Turtle shell chest plates and stuff like that. Right, we'll, we'll try to go close by for now to see if there's any uh, cows. If not, we'll have to go for a journey and see. I'm going to grab this uh, sugar cane too while we're at it. I don't remember if I have any in my inventory or my chest, storage, whatever. Ba -ba -da -ba -da, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. A good start for a sugarcane farm. If see any more, we'll grab it though. It never hurts to have more. Uh, okay, cows, come out, come out wherever you are. It would probably be better. That's a donkey. Probably be better to uh, use the boat and just kind of go around the island instead of like straight through it, having to run. Boats are quicker. Okay. Well, looks like we're not going to find a cow on this island. Let's just grab the sugar cane we can here. Then we can start sailing to uh, another location. All right. There are cows over there. It looks like a normal forest. There could be, but that's a lot of trees to pull a cow through with a boat. Okay. Actually, real quick, before we go anywhere, let's make a map. We'll, uh, we'll make a map so we don't get lost. That way we can also, like, kind of make out the area. If I have no sugar cane, that is, I guess. Yeehaw to you too, donkey. Okay. Ah, oh, there's my sugar cane over there. I'll go grab that while we're at it. Plenty of sheep on this island, though. Which is good. If I ever need wool. Or I can turn them into meat, too. So that is also a thing that we could do. Three more. Okay. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, three paper each. I got 15. It takes eight to make a map. Plus a couple extra to zoom it in. Okay. 
we'll start with this for our farm. Did I have any to spare here? Sugar cane. I did, yes. Okay, perfect. Because I do need to make another one. Go, and then I need some wood. Actually, just two. I think the cartographer table is four wood with two paper over it, right? Sir. Excellent. And then I need a piece of iron and four redstone. Mason? What? How did I get a mason? Oh man, I inverted the recipe, damn it. Okay. I am smart, I swear. Four. Okay. Not the mason. This is how you make a compass. There we go. Surround it. All sides. Actually, I need to place down the photographer table. Uh, there you are. Okay, so look at the map. And that's our island, currently. Okay. Now, we put the car or the map in the cartographer table. Then we put the map in the cartographer table, add paper, and it zooms us in. And we can grab the map again. I said we can grab the map again, and it'll zoom us out. Then we can add one more layer. We can also zoom in another time, but at that point, the detail kind of gets a little bit uh, wonky. So we're going to go just two layers of zoom for right now. This would be a good way to, uh, well, it would have been a good way if the map wasn't, like, right where I had planned to go to the east. Either way, we went, oh no, wait, oh no, this is perfect, yeah, yeah, we want to go south, that's where we want to go. Okay, so we're going to offhand that, and actually I'm going to plant the rest of the sugar cane while we're here. Yo, okay. Now time for the boat. Alright, so now as we're cruising around, looking for cows, horses, we'll start to draw our map, little by little. And then, once we collect enough maps, we can make a, a lovely, bigger map using item frames and all that kind of stuff, once we have cows and, uh, and of course, uh, get leather. There's some pigs, I saw. Just need cows. Okay, a little sow. I think over there is going to be our good bet. That's a, a nice little plains area before a forest. We should be able to find some there, I'd hope. Bet it's off the map. Oh, if only I had... A, that's a shipwreck over there. We might check that out after we uh, see if there's cows over here. Pigs, pumpkins. Not that pumpkins are very useful. Actually, can't you make pumpkin pie now with like sugar, pumpkin, and like eggs and wheat? I feel like that's the recipe. Oh, hello there, floating uh, sugar cane. Come hither, boat. All right, let's search this area real quick for any cows that might be here or might not be. Oh, speaking of, there they are. Excellent. I'm going to grab a pumpkin. Just so we have one. Yoink. And just turn it straight into seeds. There we go. Although, I think there's already pumpkin seeds at home. So, that was kind of pointless. But anyway. Hello, cows. Hello. Would one of you love to get in my boat? Go. All right. To the water. <sighs> we'll get there one day, cow. We'll get there one day. Any shipwrecks in the uh, little bay here? This is actually a nice place right here. Got a nice little, like, bay inlet area. And... Kind of cool. Okay. Now, where was that... Shipwreck, there it is. Take a look at that shipwreck. And then we'll head back home.
We'll drop off this cow, and then we'll get a second one. We'll start breeding. And it'll take a little bit for us to finish breeding them to, like, completion and stuff. Where we can actually thin the herd and get leather and stuff. Wait, what's that? Is that a village over there? Oh, those are just trees. We are going to need to uh, place a bed down and sleep here anytime now before monsters start spawning. Hopefully we can find something uh, interesting in this boat. Like a treasure map, for example. Which I think a treasure map counts as a map. So we could technically... Ooh, that has mending on it. A suspicious stew. Also, apparently suspicious stews don't actually do anything negative. At least the one that I had in my survival world uh, didn't do anything negative. But who's to say if that's true or not? Oh man. The whole ship is like under sand. I'm not too familiar with a uh, ship's layout to know where the chest would be exactly, unfortunately. Uh, would it be further down, maybe? Because it does go further down. There's usually two chests on boats. Oh, that's water. Well, shit. Uh, sand, of course. And this is difficult. Okay. Let's set down a torch. Find that. So we'll all the same. Oh. Did the uh, horse trick not work or something? Like, what the heck happened there? There we go. Worked that time. The other chest. Huh. Is it back here? I'm so glad that ducking actually works in uh, Minecraft now. It makes you a little bit lower. There it is. That was worth it. Nice iron. Got some emeralds. Old nuggies. Iron nuggies. There we go. Okay. I gotta crouch to get out of there. Okay, um... I guess we just build up to get out. Okay. Anything else over here on this, this area? That's useful. Uh, just more savanna and stuff like that. Okay. That and that. Okay. Come on, cow. Let's get you in your home. Da, 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 da. I can see it in the distance. My home. Well, the remnants of the houses. I should really get a flint and steel and just burn those town, huh? Kind of tired of seeing the uh, withstanding roofs. Little bit annoying. I'm sailing with my cow friend. He's gonna make some babies for me. And then I'm gonna kill him and get him some leather. But he doesn't know that because he is a dumb animal. I wanted to map a little more of the year. Okay. So once we start getting a good income of uh, leather and sugar cane and stuff, we can start making more paper, make more maps, make a good old map room of the surrounding area, which is probably going to be mostly nothing important, but that's the point. 
All right, so now we just need to design a place for this cow to go, for him to live his life. I think over there would be good, actually. Then we'll go get him a friend. Okay. But before we get him off the boat, let's design his pen. Uh, let's see. I know I got a bunch of cobble. I'll make some cobblestone fences. There we go. That should be enough. Okay. Store that stuff away here. Make a flint and steel real quick. Bop, bop. Got it. And we'll store mending chest there. That stuff here. Rice go there. Potatoes go there. Stew don't have any room. That goes there. Pumpkin seeds go there. Coal goes here. Okay. We have everything we need. Nope. 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 We're getting the one very important factor that we need a piece of wool. Okay. So. What we can do... We're just going to go up here and start making a, a bit of a farm on this cliff. So. This will be the, the cow pen. Perfect. I'll just lure them right in there. I'll place down our torches. I'm going to make another pen for the sheep when I get them, or when I decide to get them anyway. Perfect. Let me just go around here and place the torches, mop up these torches. Perfect. Uh, and then... We can make a pen for piggies. I don't know if I'm making these the right, like, or like the same distance or anything, like between each other, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, and we can place the wool right there. And that wool will let us get over the fence without having to make a gate. All right. Hello, Mr. Cow. I need your services. Come hither. Let's go. Come on, you want this wheat? You want the wheat? Come on, man. Switch out that and that, and... Haha, you're trapped! Wrecked, fool. Okay. I will need a block for the next one to put there, so we can jump up and whatnot, but... For right now, that's fine. So before we go get our second cow, how about we go and find some sheep. At least two. Cats. Come on, sheep. I'm not going to waste time getting a bunch of you. We have plenty of wheat that I can breed y'all with. Come on, sheep. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there we go. Remember to patch up the wall later, but other than that, we're fine. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's get you to your new home. If I ever need wool, I can just shear you. All right. Before I feed them, go. Okay. There we go. I need another piece of wool for them. Yeah. Okay. I almost forgot to build the wall again. Okay, perfect. And now, we can go and get the other cow. Right after I, uh, deposit some stuff here quick. Slight change to some things. Okay. Uh, let's get, 
one more wheat. Let's get one block of grab a block of cobble. Store these fences that we don't need anymore. Store that uh, thing there. These and these. Okay. Those bitches do go away, please. Okay. So, go burn some shit down. <laughs> and hopefully, it doesn't spread to my wall or anything else for that matter. That I do not want to burn. Should be a far enough distance away, right? Smile, right? Who knows? I guess we'll find out when uh we come back. Okay, let me can burn down this one here. That, and I'm just gonna start fire to these fences too. Where are your fences, mate? There, like there, like there, okay. Okay. Now we can take a nice little nap while we wait for that to burn. All right. Now, let's go get another cow. Bye. If I come back and my village is burned down, I'll know who to blame. Myself. <laughs> All right. I think it was just over here, right? Yeah. Just over this hill. And then I'll get one cow and kill the rest. Oh, I just have a little bit of leather so we can start getting our enchanting table. I do need 30 levels, though, in order to, I think, get a fortune stuff. All right. Oh, Mr. Cows. There's only three left. Hmm. Mr. Cow, Mr. Cow, yeah, get in the boat. Okay. I'm gonna kill your friends before I go. Kya! Kya! That's right. All right. We got the cows we need. Now, if I can just get in the boat, there we go. Make our way to the water. Don't you move at me, I had to do what I had to do. Okay. Sure, your friends are dead, but you're going to go and you're going to make new friends. Quite literally, you're going to make them. You're going to have some fun with the other friend that I took away from you earlier. Isn't that right, Cal? Mm-hmm. All right. So we got one leather out of that. We can make one book, which means we can get the enchanting table. But... We don't have enough for book cases to actually make a enchanting area of level 30 or higher. No. I suppose we can see what the basic enchantments are. See if maybe we can luck out and get a, uh, a fortune or something. No. So I think my villager has fortune three. Unless he screwed up and doesn't anymore. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at all the, the wood gone. I should really just get rid of the, the, the stuff floating up there, too, but... Cal comes first. I can do that stuff later. Yes, burn. Burn! <laughs> I should make a dock here. Okay. Boop, boop. All right, Cal. Let me just get my, uh, my boat. Then we will lead you to your new home. Okay, come on. Come on, Mr. Cow. You're gonna have a great time here. Trust me. 
I know you liked your field before, mm -hmm. but... Hey, come on. Hey, I got some weed for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want it now? Come on. I know you were having fun in your open field. Non-restricted before, but... Uh, here, you can fuck all you want. Yeah. Hello, sheep. Bah. Indeed. All right. Now then... Sorry, sheep. You have to die. No one's allowed to be outside the pens. All right, what does my uh, my little guy here have? Hey, got the strider? Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to get in there and change some stuff. I'm gonna grab some emeralds first, real quick. And uh, see if I can make any paper. I think his basic trade is like 25 paper and then you can lock it in. I think you have to trade with them once to lock in their actual, like, trades. Uh, do I have any paper free? No. Ah. Some of those carpets, there we go, okay. One sugar cane. Uh, okay. Where are my emeralds? They are, we got nine emeralds, okay. I really need to do some inventory maintenance. Yes, I do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. Okay. Depth Strider? Nah, man. I'm gonna ruin my shovel. I don't have to scroll two over to do this. Action two. Ah. Uh, okay, so we're looking for uh, mending or not that. Ha. We're looking for mending or we're looking for fortune three. Anything else we do not really want unless I see something cool and I'm like, hmm, I actually want that. You're in the way, excuse me. Stop giving me the same thing over and over, man. Come on. Punch one. Mm. Very, very useful enchantment, sir. Thank you. Bane of arthropods. A very unuseful thing, unless you're killing spiders specifically. Frost Walker. I like that enchantment, but no. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Efficiency one. No. Got loyalty through. No. Come on. All right, dude. Listen here, librarian. That is your real job. Do what I want. Blast protection four, huh? No. Another man, come on. Come on, man. All of us knows that neither of the other wants to be here. Curse of Binding. Oh. Luck of the C3. Damn. That's pretty okay, actually. If you go on fishing for equipment. But... Huh. Frostwalker 1. I only have 9 emeralds, right? Yeah. Oh. What's this? <gasps> Luck of the C1. Wouldn't it be crazy if I got like a nine, like mending book or something? Huh. Efficiency two for 23. No, thank you. Huh. Right, just one good trade, man. Just one good trade. And we can lock it in. Huh. Knock back. No. 
Got mm -hmm. looting three. Don't need looting. Huh. Other falling, no. Huh. Huh. Last protection. Yep. Kill me here, man. Huh? Seriously, just just one good enchantment, man. That's all I need. Oh man, come on, man, just one good enchantment. Sharpness four. Oh man, that's that's actually really good. But no. Come on. Quick charge, nope. Quick charge two, nope. Come on, man. Really want to give me quick charge, huh? There it is! There's mending. Hell yeah. Okay, 38 diamonds, though. 38 emeralds. Oof. Huh? The thing is, we have to lock this in somehow, so we need to get 24 paper, like, now, which is uh, 24 divided by 3. We need to get 8? No, we need to get 24. Huh? I don't know why I'm doing math like that. It's a 3 to 3 ratio. Uh, we need to get 24 sugar cane. Oh, you're sleeping. I was like, did he just fucking disappear? The Nani? All right. The Grand Sugar Cane quest is upon us. Let's go. I'm just going to just take all this. Oh, there's coal underneath my uh, weird little plateau thing. Okay, how much do I actually have? I have a uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. Uh Okay, halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway, 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 halfway. We're gonna grab a... We're gonna sleep first. Grab a boat. Find some sugar cane quick. We just need 12 more, and then we can get that uh, mending book locked in. Even though it's a 39 emerald trade. Uh, I want to spend the whole day destroying that thing, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. There's some sugar cane. Let's go. Um, -da -da then once we get this book locked in, we can uh, try and manipulate our villagers into... Uh, getting us stuff for emeralds. Yo, there's two. I don't know how long they take before that trade just, like, stops and doesn't work anymore. Before they switch. Over there. Open over there. I've already searched pretty much all that area. Uh... Back this way. Really should have started growing uh, sugar cane a long, long time ago, but not bad. There's some sugar cane, let's go. Yeehaw! I just need 12, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, that's a lot. Let's go. Boom, all 12. Okay. I'm gonna grab this other stuff over here so I can keep expanding the farm without having to worry about uh 
running low. Go. Okay. Now we head back. Ooh. Oh, is that a glacier? Oh, fuck. That is a glacier right over there. Hell yeah. I love glaciers. Okay. But we need to get back. Watch him uh, have changed his trade, and now he no longer has mending. Or watch us be really lucky, and he no longer has mending for 39, but a lesser amount of emeralds. Huh? Huh? Yeah? That'd be cool. This is actually the first time I've gotten a villager that uh, has a mending book on him. Every other time I've gotten mending, I've had to fish through it, which uh, takes forever to do. All right. Yeah. All right. I just need that many? No, one more. Yeah. There we go. All right. I got it, sir. I got the paper. Please don't change your thing. Yet, anyway. Yeah. But he changed it. The motherfucker! Okay. All right, you little fucking shit lord. That's it. I'm doing it again. Get off your fucking lectern, you little bastard. All right, come on. Give me mending back, please. Lure? Nah. Nah, mate, no. Nah. I'm ready now. It was just not meant to be. Wouldn't it be cool if we got like mending for like four emeralds? That'd be that'd be pretty swag, right? I'd be pretty hyped about that. <laughs> I mean, one way or another, we have what we need to uh, get the the trade locked in. We have either the paper or we have the nine emeralds to get a bookshelf. Unless, of course, it just so happens to spawn with like two books, which would be really cool. I don't think it can it actually spawn with like two books. Uh, efficiency four? Bro, you're killing me. Why would you give me this good trade? It's actually not that good because it's 48 emeralds. Uh, yeah, never mind. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I really wish there was an easier way to do this rather than picking it up and setting it down again, again, and again, again, and again, and again. This is so boring. Huh. Impaling. Bad. Bro, I just sat that down. I said I just sat that down, man. Trying to glitch my shit, huh? See how it is? Riptide. Fortune three. But it's 41 emeralds. I don't know. I don't think that's worth it. I think we'll go for mending. Or a better fortune. I have to keep pushing them off the damn thing. I'm trying to make love to your lectern, dude. Sharpness. So, okay. We get a better... Ooh, silk touch for nine? Man, I need that on my single player and server games. Silk touch, silk touch sucks in uh, what I'm doing right now. Yeah, basically, we're looking for maybe sharpness five, a good fortune three, or mending. That's what we're looking for. Ration. Wait, please. Come on, man. Come on. Riptide? Nope. Uh -huh. 
Get your job, thank you. Infinity for 10? Dang. I don't know if that's good. I really don't know what, what trades, like for what prices are good, or what's like just Aww. exorbitant. Aww. Like 40 does not seem good to me for like a trade though. Smite 3. Like 30 and below seems like okay. At least it's not crazy. At least for like the higher tier, like sharpness. And <gasps> Fuck! I'm sorry, dude. You were just so punchable. Maybe you'll stay the fuck away from me now, though, and I can do this, huh? Although, of course, now all the prices are inflated. <sighs> Shit. Well, maybe we, uh, maybe we just come back. Because I'm not going to be able to afford the bookshelves and stuff if, uh, he decides to be an asshole. We'll, uh, we will instead... Breed some cows and sheep. That one there. That one there. Is it really just one wheat from each one? There go. There you go. Is your calf not grown up yet? Here. Okay. No! You can't have more food! No! Stop it! Stop looking at me like that. Also, the golem appears to have healed. I guess they heal over time? Which is cool? Anyway, I'm gonna real quick just, uh... I wonder, could I make a composter that has a chest above it, feeding in all these extra seeds, and then have a chest below the composter that is exporting the bone meal that it creates? Is that a thing I can do? Ow. Can I get these two to, like, the fucking make babies in here? Wait. What? Why are you normal now? You were a farmer. Oops. Have babies. I'm gonna throw a bunch of wheat in there with them. There you go. Okay, you want this? Yeah, you like that? You like that? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Maybe we should add another bed. I don't know. I don't know how villager breeding works. Come on, it's like a pixel off night. Come on. One little pixel. There we go. All right. Have you two conceived yet? I actually don't know how to tell if you're ready to conceive or not, to be honest. I just know you basically throw crops at people's feet until they like, like suck it in and then they just like, make babies or something, I don't know. Sir, are you mad at me still? Yeah, you're mad at me still. I'm sorry. Actually, if I just leave and come back in, will it maybe correct that? Not multiplayer. Hey, you still mad? Yeah, you're still mad. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Where the hell's my farmer? Farmer! Farmer! Are you stuck in the doors down here or something? I know one was when I looked at him. Mason, I don't know why you're up there, but you did not go. Is he in my damn house? Why do they always do that? Nope, they're not. Where did he go? Where's the farmer? Did he, uh, drown? Or wander off? Or...
paper. Farmer. Oh, farmer. Oh, no. Did he fall down the hole? Oof. Oof. I should probably put a door here, huh? Oof. What? Eh? Actually, that might not work either. Because then they can just continue to walk down it, right? How can I make it so they can't enter? Oh, I know. Quite simple, really. Put these doors back. Go grab some uh, stuff here. Uh, let's grab that, and where did I put my fences? Hey, Void Dragon. Not a problem. Doesn't matter if you're late or not. But, uh, as for adventure... Uh, it's been, it's been going. My day hasn't been too bad either. But so far, what we're trying to do right now, to catch you up, we had, a uh, gone down into the mine, basically created a strip mine, Create another portal too, I suppose, but we haven't gotten into it yet. Uh, we got some diamonds so we can make an enchantment table. But, and now there's a farmer. Okay. We did all that, right? And right now we're waiting to see uh, if we can get a good trade with the, uh, the villager who gives books and enchantment stuff. If we can, we can uh, make something. We can hopefully get like a mending book or something out of that and then go from there. So let me get this book. Actually make our enchanting table real quick. Because what I want to do is I want to get fortune. That way when we have fortune we can uh, mine some more diamonds that we found to get like armor and stuff like that. And then we can also get uh, enchantments on it to get ourselves better protected so we don't just like die in three hits from everything. That's, uh, that's the plan. All right. Farmer? Farmer, what do you want? Seriously, dude. What is your problem? Stop playing with the doors, man. Okay. Real quick, let's block off my mine so they can't get into it. Go, and then just place that there so I can jump over it and they can't. Just in case one of them actually did fall down there and die. Which would not be good. I'm gonna throw this extra one piece of fence away. Have you two made a kid yet? No? Then what are you doing with your lives? Huh? Huh? Actually, what do you what do you trade again? Rotten flesh. Okay. He takes rotten flesh. This guy is still pissed at me, so it doesn't matter. Man, punching that guy was a bad move. Other villagers, hello. You know, I had a, a mason, apparently, because he used my thing. Wait, did the mason turn into a farmer? You heading out, Pip? Alrighty. Enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving and all that good jazz. Okay, no, I swear to God, there, there's, there's the farmer there who keeps going into my house. And then there's the potion guy and the rando who doesn't have a job, who used to be a farmer. And there's the, the guy up there and the, the, the iron golem. We had someone who was a, a green shirt, right? Who could not... Like, learn jobs, right? Where, where did he go? Did he die? Did he finally grow up and get a job and was like, oh, okay. Is that, maybe, the sta maybe there's a stage of growth where it's like a little baby one, and then he gets to be like a, a green shirt who can't learn a job because he's a teenager. 
Then he becomes fully adult, and then he can learn a job. Then again, I'm still a villager short. Farmer, get the fuck out of my house. You know what? I'm putting the fucking fence up. That's it. Where is my fences? Up here, right? No, down. Up there, okay. My farmer. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get the hell out. Yeah. Now you can't get in, can you? Yeah, you see. That's my house. And actually, since I have that there, I don't need these anymore. Actually, can I put a pressure plate on top of a fence to get over it? I cannot. Okay. Has to be wool. That's fine. Uh, I got one piece of wool here. I don't remember. Is it two or three wool for a uh, thing? Can just try two for now. Aha, there we go. Okay. Now I can just put a uh, few carpets around here so I can just get in and out. The villagers can't. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bop, bop. That one. Can spiders get in there now? I don't think they can, though, right? They take up like four spaces, right? Ugh. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyway. Let's go. I want to just install a couple more doors that go nowhere. Go. Are you too fucked? No? Okay. Farmer? So you you just sell stuff, huh? Well, you're a fisherman. Wait, what? What what makes a fisherman? Oh my god, okay. Hold on. Let me look this up real quick. What makes someone a fisherman? A barrel? Huh? Really? These barrels make you a fisherman? I don't quite see how, but... Okay. I'm gonna just store those, then. Well, with the enchantment table, what I'd like to make is, uh, like, just good enchantments, like fortune and stuff for my, my things, but... Dude, seriously, there's no more place for you to, like, be a fisherman. Why are you a fisherman still? Basically, I want to get, like, uh, sharpness, enchanting, all that kind of good jazz, you know what I'm saying? But, okay. Hey, can you, can you not? Become a farmer, please, huh? At least become a farmer. Come on, dude. Huh. That makes sense, I suppose. Huh. Still a fisherman, sir. Huh. Man, I know at one point... I legit made, I was legit a farmer somewhere, and then he just, like, disappeared. Maybe they fell off this and died? Because they keep going onto the damn roofs. Maybe I need to put a railing up so they don't do that. Let me do that. While oh, we're just waiting for my, uh, one villager to stop hating me. I'm gonna make some quick adjustments here. Have you guys screwed yet? Doesn't look like it. Okay. 
We'll just start from here and go around. My bad thinking you guys could handle not going onto the roof and killing yourselves all the damn time. That was my fault. Sorry, I thought you guys would have a little bit of intelligence, but apparently not. Okay. I can add some torches here to make things look a little bit more fancy, unless... Oh, there's just random torches on the ground. Her, 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 her. Fine, let's put them there. Get that one, get rid of that one. I think that should be enough torches. Okay. Now they, they shouldn't be falling off and getting themselves killed, if that is indeed what happened in the first place. Although they could from there, potentially. I'll just make them. Uh, let's do, like, this, maybe. This work? That prevent them from walking off and getting themselves killed? Maybe one more there, and then one more there? Yeah, that, that should work to prevent them from dying. Yeah, you can build like a library and stuff around the table, Void Dragon, and uh, do kind of stuff like that. Uh, basically, you, you want on your armor like protection and uh, stuff like that. Uh, on your helmet, you want like maybe aqua affinity or like uh, water breathing or, or whatnot, just so you can survive underwater better or mine underwater, that kind of stuff. Like feather falling on your boots is good, so you can survive dropping from higher distances. Um, you got stuff like uh, thorns on the armor, so like when someone comes after you and you, uh, they they deal damage to you, you can it deals damage to them as well, but it takes more durability damage, uh, that kind of stuff. But yeah, okay. Is this villager still pissy wissy with me? You mad? Bro? Yeah, you mad. You mad, bro. Okay. So, what if... Hold on. What other stuff can I just make this guy? I can, I can put down another thing here to make him a farmer. Um, looks like farmer would probably be the best bet. Or... Oh. Oh. I can make a shepherd. Because they just take, like wool and dye and turn those into emeralds. That, that'd be a good trade. A nice and easy trade. Oh, but the mason, he just takes, like, stone and turns it into stuff, too. Uh, the thing is, I'd have to get clay for that, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. So it's string and wood. And I can make this guy into a, uh, whatever. That is. Oh, now that guy's done. Okay. Alright, so string, and I need some wood. Boop, bop, bop, beep, bop, boop, bop, beep, bop. Question, if I set this down, can I use it? I can. Okay, I don't know what uses it has, but I can use it. It's here. Alright, so let's go over here. And I can place that down there. And this guy should turn into a weaver. Excellent. So I can give him brown or gray wool to transform stuff. Okay. What makes brown dye? Um, brown dye is... Coca beans. Okay. That's not great. That'll be hard to get currently. Uh... I'm just gonna keep resetting you guy, okay? Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm not gonna take brown brown wool. That, that's just not something I can take in right now. Uh, black wool is easy enough, okay. Go. Because black wool is just a uh, sheep. Oh, not a sheep, a uh, 
squid, I think. Do I have shears? It's gonna be in my chest here, right? I don't have shears, okay. Bop, bop, beep. I can kill a squid. There's one. I'm coming for you, Squiddy. All right. Yeah. And yoink. Okay. And I think it's just bam, black die. All right. I need to make that guy into something at least at some point. That guy really wants to go into my house, huh? Okay. So we'll dye the sheep black and then cut their wool. That way we can get some uh, some black wool. Are these gray sheep? I think they are. I need 18 wool in order to get that. I only got five. If I use the third one, I might get seven or so. Okay. That's fine. Is this gray wool? Or is it light gray wool? That's light gray, okay. We'll do that then. Alright, y'all. Keep keep breeding. Keep uh keep eating. All that fun jazz. And then I can uh, get more wool. Way to lure a villager, or does it have to be like to use a boat to transport them? So if I could get that one unknown villager up here, actually, hold on. Before I do anything with that, let me uh, I'm gonna cut down this tree so it's not overhanging here. supposed to be a mining stream. Okay, uh, and then let's take cobblestone. Why is there nothing planted over here? Okay. Then... I'm going to Let me make a crafting bench up here. Doink. Doink. Ah, oh, I didn't. Damn it. Thought I hit shift. There we go. All right, let's put this. Not there. Let's, I'm going to. Actually, I already have one over here. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to put this one over here then, if that's the case. Just like right there. Just so I have one nearby if I need it. Any, uh, any saplings, my dude? Like says, we believe that I'd like to at least be able to replant like one. You know what I'm saying? Apparently not. Okay. Well, yeet. Let me go make some more fences, and then I can uh, get it so I can trap this farmer or this guy in there, potentially. Need to make some more fences, so grab those, grab those. Yoink. There go, that should be more than enough. Uh, let's sleep real quick in a moment. Actually, we have a little bit of time. Hey, uh, where'd that guy go? He come up this way. Oh, he did. He's going over here. Aha. Okay. So while he's asleep or sleeping, let's make him his uh, little cage here. <laughs> uh, 
And then I can use the white wool, place it here. Go ahead and place down some torches. Did not expect my uh, my punch to go through the uh, the torch and destroy the crop, but okay. That and then boop, boop. Okay. Then get rid of that one, that one, and post one here. All right, excellent. We'll get rid of that and put that there. Okay. Let me remove those, put that there real quick. Got your bed. My bed now. You keep coming to my house using my bed. I think it's about time that I take your bed. Hey, you want a job? Want a job, sir? Huh? Huh? Want a job? Want a job? Huh? Want a job? Come on. Come on. Come get it. Come get it. I thought. Oh, no. Did I, did I take your job? Come on. Come get it. Come get it. Come get your job. How crazy does it get at night? Not that crazy. I mean, it's just a normal Minecraft night. It's just, uh... Since I'm in hardcore, I don't want to have to deal with monsters uh, any more than I normally have to. Hey, bud, talk to me. Huh. Trade me these potatoes. Huh? There we go. All right. He's locked in. He'll trade potatoes and carrots now. It'll be great. I'm just going to replant uh, some stuff here. He'll tend to this farm. The thing is, I don't know... Do the farmers, like, store them anywhere? I, I don't remember. I know they have, like, an internal, like, inventory of stuff. I just don't remember if they, like, store the potatoes in, like, a chest if one's nearby. Why is he holding an emerald, by the way? Can you get off that one, please? Thank you. All right, trade me, sir. Thank you for the emeralds. Gonna do some farming real quick to get a couple of more emeralds, huh? Leave me alone. Okay. Hey. Pardon me. There we go. Oh, yeah. So you should uh, level up now, right? There we go. He's leveling up. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, sir. You can do it. I have faith in you. That means he's done? Yeah, okay. So pumpkins. Or I can trade a number for pumpkin pie. I don't know why I would do that. All right. Cool. Well, I, I need to make a pumpkin farm somewhere at some point. But to keep trading with him. We got a number of emeralds, which is good. Uh, hey, the sheep have re ah, regained their wool. That's nice. Do I have 18 yet? I got 15. Shoot. Give me your white wool while we're at it. Out of the way. Okay. Who wants some food? Here we go. More sheep. <laughs> One more black wool. Come on, somebody eat some grass. Eat some grass. Come on. I'm going to feed these cows while they're eating grass and stuff. Three, four. Here we go. Make the babies. Here you are. Farmer, how you doing? Doing good over here? Yeah? Oh, wait, I need to put a bed down for him. Hold up. He does need a place to rest his feet. Yeah, I know. You, you, were, you were wanting a bed. There you go. You might not have anything over your head, but, you know, you're a, you're a nature guy, right? I'm sure you'll do fine. Let's 
So Ah. Uh, that's how you make an auto farm. I looked it up real quick. So to make an auto farm, apparently you have to have a uh, a villager encased like outside the farm so that the uh, former villager tries to throw them like food. That way they'll... Uh, it'll go into like a hopper that you set up and one like that. That's a lot of work to set up right now. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, to do that uh, without having to like look at a tutorial I'm on that and whatnot. But anyway, we have our Loomy Boy down here. So we can trade this 18 Black Wolf for to get an Emerald to lock him in. Heck yes. All right. He's locked in for Black Wolf. Excellent. What does this other guy want? You want flesh, right, sir? Right, sir? I said right, sir. You want flesh. Which I don't think I have any rotten flesh for you right now. Do the clerics even do anything good? What do the clerics get? You can get Ender Pearl. Yeah, the clerics don't have jack shit that I want, if I'm being honest. Uh, I could make him another librarian. Or I could make him a butcher to sell him stuff. Could potentially do that. Um, I mean, I guess if I'm doing a zombie farm, it'd be helpful to have a cleric just to get stuff from it. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll be fine for now. Zombie farm. Yeah. Okay. Run a blank. Right. Right. Okay. I need to figure out how to breed villagers later. But for right now, let's see what the librarian is up to. Hello, sir. Do you like me? No. But I can afford your bullshit now, so... Let's just keep doing this. Power book. Loyalty two. Was that loyalty two or three? Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't like loyalty. Nothing. Out of the way. Got infinity. I don't need. We got multi-shot, which I don't need. Channeling. Knock back. Come on, sir, give me a good book. Multi-shot is not a good book, sir. Feather fallen. Another knock back. Punch. Actually, let me real quick. Any 25 paper? Okay, good. And 10 emeralds? Yeah, okay, I got plenty for all of that. So, If and when I get an actual cheap enchantment that I want, I can just trade with him. What books am I looking for? I'm looking for either uh, Mending, Sharpness 5, or Fortune 3 right now. Nothing else really matters. Because if I get mending for a good price, that'll be perfect. Hey, 14 emeralds for mending? Oh my god. Bro. Lock that in. Hell yes. That is a beautiful trade right there. That is a beautiful trade. Oh man. All right, Mr. Librarian. Me and you, we're going to get along just fine. God damn, that's nice. Oh boy. We lucked out there. All right. So we got a farmer we can trade potatoes with. We got a, uh, uh, I forget what the heck the one loom person's called, uh, who we can trade black wool for and get stuff. We got a, uh, potion cell that we can trade your flesh for. Excellent. Okay. Doing real good. Can't feed you guys yet. Okay. Well, that's all right. Stop jumping around, you little shits. Hello, Mr. Farmer. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Okay. So I think to wrap up the stream, let's make a, a quick pumpkin and melon patch. 
because we could make a zombie spawner now, but if we did that, it would take quite a while to actually do and set up and everything. Um, so instead, I know I have some pumpkin seeds somewhere. Right there. Is that the only pumpkin seed I have? Nope, I got more. Okay. I got melon, got some beetroots, got more potatoes. Okay. Alright, so. I need a hoe. Ho, ho, ho. I need a hoe. Put my hoe in one of these. There it is. Actually, I might just want to make another hoe just in case, because that one's gonna definitely gonna break before I finish building everything. That's actually the perfect mending trade. Holy shit. I cannot believe we got something that great. Um we got plenty of time before day comes. Okay. All right. Let's start by making a pumpkin patch. All right. So everything hydrates within four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, I want to name that one. Okay. All right, <clears throat> then, so with this layout, I have three here, I have three here. Maybe it would have been better to do it one day. Yeah, 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 okay. Hold on, let me, let me, real quick. I'm all over the place right now. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to real quick make a slab. Put it there so I can just have a nice thing I don't fall into when I do stuff. All right, next. We'll make one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll plant the melons. Okay. Next. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Right. All right. There we go. There we go. And then those will each grow that way, because over here, we're going to be placing more to prevent them from growing back this way. Okay. All right. So these should grow over onto these ones. These should grow over onto these ones, except for these. These should go over here, unless they grow back there. By the way, that is fine. This should... Give us a decent farm. Okay. And then, we can also make a beetroot farm here. I'm going to need to grab a thing of water. Alright, so let's make it... One, two, three, four... Two, three, four... We'll do it right here. Bop, bop. And then pop and boop. Okay. So one, two, three. One, two, four. Two. Got beet roots. I'm gonna plant these here. And just kind of make all of this into farming territory. That way we don't have anything spawning on them. Yada yada. Go. Okay. There we go. My little beetroot area here for when the, the farmer eventually wants to uh, trade some stuff here. Um, do I need to plant anything else right now? I don't think so. I think we're good on all that. Uh, let's a water bucket. I can make a couple more patches for, uh, for melons here. So we'll do one right here. Now I'll go over on one of those spaces. Let's do that one as well and plant one there. 
Actually, no, I don't want that there. I could grow around to the road and mess things up. There we go. So, nothing there then. Okay, we can do one over here though. Right there. Boop. We can do something here. Okay. I'm just going to throw the rest of these seeds away. I hope I need them. All right, excellent. And that should be that. Iron Golem, why do you keep getting into trouble over here with these stupid skeletons? Uh... Excuse me. Don't let them provoke you, man. You're better than that. Okay. Uh... Perfect. So, I'll have to farm mate. Okay. So, the last thing I'm probably going to do off stream is I'm just going to go ahead and while uh, we're just kind of killing time, or while I'm killing time, I'm going to make it so the, uh, the wall has a bit of a lip on it so spiders can't climb over it. Probably also going to raise it one up higher so that way the iron golem doesn't get like aggroed. And like get shot in the head while he can't really attack. You guys want some? Here you go. Always have more sheep. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make a little lip around the outside edge of the walls. That way it uh spiders can't crawl them up it. And I'll also possibly add an, a layer on the water, so that way uh, my villagers don't go wandering off. Not that they can anymore, since they're all sort of, you know, <laughs> under house arrest. But I need to get this guy a bed. Hey, Cleric! Hey, Cleric! Fuck you! <laughs> what a panda. Do I have rotten flesh? Yeah, I got plenty. Okay. Let me grab 35. I'll just trade with the cleric real quick to get a, a spare diamond or emerald. Diamonds, emerald, same thing, really. If you think about it. Huh. Hey, bud, I got something to trade with you. Oh, it was thirty-two. I thought it was thirty-five. Uh, uh. Anyway, whatever. Free emerald. Thank you. All right. Now all of their jobs are locked in. Perfect. All you know is going pretty good, panda. I'm actually just about to wrap up stuff, though, so. Oh, man, I need to do inventory maintenance. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to do offline here, so. So I'm going to make a wall. We're going to finish the wall, like, outer perimeter thing so spiders can't get up a bit. I'm going to do some inventory sorting because this is a mess. This is just not cool. I'm probably going to expand uh, my house over that way a little bit, maybe, or something to make a, a nice little hovel. I won't be leaving the safety of my, my property here, though, so I won't run the risk of dying to monsters like that. Uh, so we should not die. Anyway, everyone, thank you all for, for stopping by and whatnot and hanging out and all that good jazz. And, you know, all that fun stuff. And I hope you all like the, the audio quality this time around. Uh, like I said, I spent a little while on it. I can get it working, and I think, personally, it's better. So, anyway, this video will be uploaded to YouTube, the, the VOD of it anyway, so if you missed anything, you can feel free to watch it there within the next couple of hours or so. Uh, YouTube.com slash Black and Cheeky, and you can follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Black and Gaming. Anyway, that'll be all for me right now, everyone. Let's see here. Why don't... We and thanks. So yeah. Alright, y'all. Have a great time. See you next week. Actually, 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 actually. Saturday we'll be streaming Fallout 76 because they released their content patch. So we're gonna be doing some of that stuff. Don't sure not sure if dailies reset then. But Saturday, we'll definitely be doing some of the, the Brotherhood of Steel, uh Steel Dawn stuff that came out early. So till then. Bye for now.